So we are reviewing today the Vio Z that I purchased two months ago. This is the new Vio Z from Vio.com and this is the review today. Uh, I think two months ago I did the unboxing. This is the English keyboard by the way, it's not the Japanese keyboard. This laptop is made in Japan and it's a very good laptop. But as you can see, it has some glitches. I think why I'm saying as you can see is because you can see here that we have a USB a wireless USB key and the reason why I have a wireless USB key is because this laptop uses a very bad wireless card and this wireless card is the AC7265 it's the Intel AC7265 it's 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 known for its problems I have no idea why Vio went with this card that that really has so many problems and I did I did update the card I I, I made a lot of updates for, for this card I, I I did everything with the exception of upgrading to Windows 10 right now this laptop is using Windows 8.1 so I didn't even upgrade to Windows 10 but uh, the thing is I I, I the, the wireless card it keeps disconnecting every uh, like several times every minute it's you cannot even work on it sometimes sometimes you can work on it for one hour without a problem sometimes even like within within the span of a minute you disconnect like several times and since i'm a programmer i cannot really tolerate that and the way i used to resolve this problem because i i used it for like a couple of weeks actually probably i used it for a month actually uh with the um with the old wireless card is because it's because i was i was just uh, changing the laptop to wireless uh, to airplane mode and then changing back to non airplane mode this is how it was uh, the problem was resolved so i had to do this like sometimes several times every minute it wasn't even acceptable and and what's worse is that the the uh, when when this laptop was on and the wireless card was on uh, it was interfering with every wireless device we had on the house so every wireless device the, con the whole connection became slower when this laptop connected to the to the internet to the network and every wireless device you know like uh, every let's say six or seven hours every wireless device it was like completely uh, without internet and we had to restart the uh, the uh, the modem and it's just it's crazy i have no idea what's going on with this card i i've read a lot about it and it seems and it's actually it's not it doesn't seem it's definitely a, an intel issue that Intel refuses to, uh, uh, you know, to support, to fix, to, uh, and the problem is that Vio is using this uh, this wireless card, and if the Vio people are, are watching this uh, 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 this review, I I really think that they should choose a different card for the uh, uh, for the next Vio Z because this card is very 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 bad I, I can't tell you how bad it is now the other problem i um i saw with this laptop or i felt with this laptop is the noise when when you are running uh like when you are viewing very heavy videos for example or when you're viewing when you are on a website that uses a lot of uh, like javascript so because the laptop has two fans so there's a fan here and there's a fan here it uses two fans. It's just the the, the noise becomes intolerable when when you uh, when you uh, you know when you go to this website or when you view this video or whatever. So it's just it's really but but it's not it doesn't happen all the time by the way. It just but when it happens it it's so annoying. It's unbelievable. It's just so. Um, let's look at this video. This is the Uncharted Four uh, trailer. The laptop has some dust, by the way, on the screen. I didn't, uh, I didn't wipe it out. Uh, but I think, but the 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 screen is so nice. It's just uh, the video quality is so nice. It's unbelievable. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay. He did. I found the coffin. Now, the fans, yeah. the fans did not yeah. turn on yet. All right, no, okay, Again, sorry. it doesn't I happen all the time, but sometimes I have, really, I have but like the a hundred tabs it's on my journey. Firefox. And that might be the reason, but again, you know, like the noise that is caused by these fans is just unbelievable. Destroyed. It's so and, uh, high. Uh, again, I, I, I do think that they probably need, uh, that they probably need to uh, uh, to have two fans and two loud fans to support such a powerful laptop, but I do think this, the noise is just too much. Just too much. It's, it's unacceptable. The keyboard. Uh, when I work on the keyboard, it, it's probably the best keyboard I have ever worked on. It's just so nice. It's so uh, it's so soft. It's it's like a, it's like I, I had the Vio S before this uh, laptop. I was using the Vio S before this laptop. And the Vio-S keyboard is, 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 a, is a joy to work on, but this is like a dream, seriously. Like when you type on this keyboard, you feel like very happy. It's, uh, there's no problem whatsoever typing on this keyboard. Mm. The trackpad is very responsive, uh, but sometimes I feel that I click on something, it doesn't work. It just I have to click it again. It's, it's, it's really responsive. I'm not saying it's not responsive, but just like the click. It doesn't, sometimes I feel it doesn't register. Uh, it's not something that is annoying me, but uh, I, I got used to it actually. I got used to, this, to, to the trackpad. But uh, it's, um, it's uh, nice to work on. But again, this problem, I think that they need to iron out in the next version of, in the next iteration of the Vio Z. Um, now, um, another thing that I didn't like with this laptop, but, but by the way, I'm, I'm uh, I'm probably talking about a lot of negatives. I really love this laptop. Don't don't get me wrong, but the wireless thing is really <laughs> was really horrible. But let's let's talk about the uh, uh, the power, the power. Uh, look at look at the. Uh, I'm gonna show you here. The power. Look at this. I think you can see it. And uh, the. Uh, The problem with the, with the power jack is that sometimes you feel like if you uh, if you uh, sometimes you feel that if you remove the cord you can snatch the whole thing out you can just snip it out I don't know what the English word is for it so you can just snip the whole thing out it doesn't feel solid it doesn't feel it doesn't feel very solid. It doesn't feel. Uh, uh, I'm, I, I, it might be. It might be my what I feel, but it doesn't feel very. You know, strong. It feels that it will break at one point, and you know because uh, I really take the laptop off the the power all the time. So uh, this is this is a big worry for me. And now I'm not taking it as often, taking it off the power as often as before because of this problem. But now I feel that that you know it's because. I just I don't feel safe when doing it because I feel it's gonna break, and when it breaks, the problem with these laptops that of course this laptop is from Japan, so there's no one here that can fix this. So if it breaks, then I'm probably gonna have to you know pay a lot of money to get another one. So uh, that's that's the thing. Uh, so uh, now another thing uh, to discuss here is the battery life. Uh, Vio claims that it lasts for like 15 hours. Uh, this laptop is on since uh, I think 2 a.m. Uh, 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern. So right now it's like 7:30, uh, 7:29, and so it's like uh, sorry, it's 9:29. So it's like we have seven hours and 30 minutes so far, and we still have 35, 33 percent. So uh, we might get 10 hours, and we'll probably get, get a bit more. Uh, the thing is, I felt that when you uh, when you visit YouTube, when you when you are viewing uh, videos, it just drains a lot. Of, like like this is normal, but it just drains a lot of of battery life. When 
when you visit uh, when you visit uh, like when you view a video or when you uh, when you're doing but for programming uh, but for programming it doesn't it's not really that bad seriously well it's just it's it's actually great one for programming I mean 10 hours come on 10 hours is 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 perfect you don't, don't nobody needs more than 10 hours uh, on a laptop at least uh, in 2015 so uh, Uh, I think I'm, I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, the uh, keyboard, trackpad. Uh, uh, well, I I think uh, I think that's it. This is uh, this is this is what I have to say about this laptop. Uh, again, the screen is really nice. The screen is uh, just uh, even at if it's at at a minimum brightness. I love the screen. It really works very 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 well. The laptop is very fast, by the way. The uh, it just uh, you feel it's much more powerful than my old uh, Vio S, which had eight gigs of RAM, which was uh, which had uh, like a similar processor, more or less, like power wise, you know, ranking wise. Uh, but this this one has sixteen gigs of RAM and it has five hundred twelve gigs of SSD two hard disk. So I think this is where uh, it's faster. I think also the processor is, is a bit faster, by the way. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I feel it's, it's a bit faster. I'm not running uh, heavy applications on this machine. I don't have any server, any, like uh, on the old machine, I had Apache running, I had uh, MySQL running, I had a lot of things running. This one, it doesn't have anything running on it. That might be the reason, but again, I feel that this laptop is, is faster than the, uh, than the other laptop. Now, one more thing I need to mention is the, um, is the chassis of the laptop i i love it it's really uh you don't get any static by the way there's no static even if you're uh if you're completely you know like uh, if you're wearing like uh, wool or whatever and you touch it you don't feel any static but i i have a problem i don't like uh you know after using it a bit i i just don't like the design a lot i feel that uh, that it's not really uh the value s that we used to i don't like the bezels for example i think the bezels are huge I think uh, I think they can do uh, more on the bezels. I think the laptop can be thinner, uh, the screen can be th thinner the same way as, for example, because the screen on this laptop is is not is not is not very thin. It's like half a centimeter. That's like you know, so that that needs to be addressed in the next iteration of Vio Vio uh, Vio Z, uh, because the old Vio Z. It, the screen was very 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 thin it was very 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 nice uh, the resolution so um, if we look here for example so uh, here just below the, the the lower end of the bezel we see this this I don't know what, what you call this it's just the back of, of this thing it's just uh, I, I just don't like how it's designed a lot I just uh, when I first saw it I, I said wow but then I realized the same thing as the flip as the Vio Flip is just they're using the same chassis actually, so uh, with, with with some exceptions because the there's a, some ventilation ventilation on on two sides right now because of the very powerful processor, but um, I think I think this is uh, this is a problem that they need to resolve. I think they need to hire, uh, you know, some some designers to design a, a, a laptop worthy of the Vio Z uh, Vio Z brand. Because this is this is this is very nice, but it's still not Vio Z. I heard, by the way, I actually saw that they have the Vio S. Uh, uh, I think fifteen Vio. Um, I think it's Vio S fifteen. Uh, let's go to Vio.com. If we go here. So. So this is the uh, Vio I'm talking about. It's a Vio S11. Sorry, it's an it's an 11 inch laptop. Uh, the problem I'm, I don't think I'm gonna buy or review this laptop because it has a Japanese keyboard. If if they had if they had the option where we can buy like a, an English keyboard the same way they have it on the current Vio Z, then I'm I might uh, actually purchase it. But this is a very nice laptop. Uh, it's it seems very thin. It seems very um, you know uh, probably worthy of uh, the Vio Z and uh, Vio Z brand, and it's just it's also uh, you know targeted at businessman. So uh, and it also has it has also has an option where you can buy the Vio 
uh, sorry, the Intel i7 processor. So you can have like up to Intel i7 and you can have 512 of SSD to hard disk on on an 11 an 11 inch uh, machine. So that's that's really nice. So this is very good if you're a businessman. But again, I would not buy it because this is a Japanese keyboard. Uh, so going back to the screen, um, uh, I, I really think, again, I really think the screen is very, very nice. By the way, the, um, uh, I, I forgot to mention the, uh, uh, the camera uh, is a very nice camera. I feel, uh, you know, when I talk on Skype, I, the other person can see me very, very clearly. Uh, the, 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 there's no distortion whatsoever. It's a very nice camera. Uh, and um, and I think that's it. I, I think I've touched on all the main issues. I'm sorry, like I didn't do any benchmarking here because I have to install like applications and then send some data. I'm not really relaxed with this concept. Uh, so uh, if someone probably purchases thing, he might uh, he, and he is willing to do that, then he can do that. But so far, I just I don't feel relaxed doing this. Um, other than that, thank you for watching and. Uh, uh, probably the next video will be uh, I might I might be willing but I might buy the Vio Z canvas but not right now probably mid of 2016 uh, which is now selling in the US but I probably I will probably buy it from Japan uh, so uh, I will review it then uh, and very very honest review by the way uh, I have not used uh, the, uh, the pan because the pan really is for me it's useless i don't even draw on, on anything on uh, uh, on this machine but if using photoshop you might be interested in a pan i heard that that uh, using the pan on this machine or on vic canvas is, is a is a joy so um so i i it's probably it's probably right i i i, I haven't tested it so if you if you want to test it then uh go ahead and buy one uh, again, uh, this uh, uh, just again. So uh, the next video will be probably about the Vio Z canvas. Uh, it's already selling in the U.S. It's uh, I heard it's selling very well there, and a lot of people buying buying it. The thing is with the Vio Z canvas, I think if you guys um, saw the Vio Tab 11, I think it's more or less the, the Vio Tab 11. I think what's happening is that Vio is taking the old Sony uh, chassis and using them for their own. Uh, new for the new machines uh, this is this is not a very bad concept but it's not great either because we, we're not getting new designs uh, the Vio S11 hopefully it's a step in the right direction uh, that uh, I sh just showed you but uh, what's really interesting to see is a new Vio Z is a, is a Vio Z that is really worthy of the Vio uh, Z brand I don't think I don't think we have reached the Vio Z level with this machine uh, just because of the so many um, things that we have it comes to the wireless when it comes to the uh, to the screen the bezel when it comes to the power uh, power when it comes to you know the noise uh, when when you have the fans on uh, I, I think they can even do more with this uh, uh, with this chassis so let's let's wait let's wait probably mid of next next uh, 2016 and let's wait maybe they can bring us some something new so thanks for watching and uh uh see you in the next video